gift giving season is here and in an effort to find some sweet deals i came across some good quality refurbished electronics is it socially acceptable to give somebody a refurbished item or would i be committing a social taboo of the highest order and that's from joey um I, I'm huge into refurbish. I yeah. think that's great because you're keeping something out of a landfill. You know, you're not creating more, Ugh, more right. waste. Captain Planet. I'm, I've been thinking about this question for a bit now. And um, as somebody who used to work at GameStop, I actually am a lot more hesitant about this prospect because I have some fucking horror stories that would turn your hair white. I'll say, about I've, refurbished electronics? About refurbished electronics. Do you know, let's play a quick guessing game. Of all the PlayStation portables, Sony's a classic handheld gaming device that were turned into our store for trade-in credit, uh, how many were chalk-loaded with the butt slamminest porn <laughs> you've ever dreamt of? Not did, enough. Did you say 100%? <laughs> Congratulations. There were certain de there were certain devices that was just like obviously anything with any sort of hard drive that you can download multimedia content to um, that also had a screen on it. It which people turn it into like the PlayStation butt slam. <laughs> 3000 omatic I, But Griffin, so you're concerned because you, when you refurbish it, you also reformat it, right? You're not handing it back to yeah, but there's a, with to the butt reformat it. To reformat it. it, I had to press the button, right, and then <laughs> scroll to the thing in the menu. And guess what? It always, like, before I could get to that old user interface, I saw a fucking butt with a man's, like, whole head in it. Like,. <laughs> So your concern would be that you would be re-gifting someone a refurbished device that at some point someone <laughs> had used to bait to. Haunted what if, by the ghost of baiting. What if the sales associate had not been as diligent as I was? Guys, like, there was this one time this dude came in and he handed in his PlayStation Portable, like, I'd like to trade this in. I was like, I can't wait to see what's on this shit. And he actually said, uh... Make sure you uh, make sure you check out some of the stuff I got in there. I think you're really gonna like it. <laughs> he actually told me that, um, and it was I'm like it was just just asses for days. It was gigabytes upon <coughs> gigabytes of gigabytes. I, I wish I could have been in the car with somebody who had just dropped off a porn loaded PlayStation because they've got to be having that discussion in their head. Like, no, I I formatted it, didn't I? Did I? No, no better, better point is then they reach over and they pick up the other PSP they have. And they're mm. like, wait, wait, wait. None of my porn's on you. Oh, no. Uh, this is my Crash Bandicoot one. I turned in the wrong one. Damn it. God damn it. I have stepped all over my funny bit. Sorry, go I'd ahead, Justin. Wait, I'd been waiting to do this funny bit while you guys talked about your stuff. Do and it. Travis stepped all over. He said, do no, well, I've got a different bit I'm going to do. It was very rude. Can you give me, can you give me a, a, a basic rundown of what your bit would have been? <laughs> you want me? Wait, you want me to recap my bit for you? Well, now I feel bad, and I feel like I'll always wonder. Last time, yeah, like, I feel bad. Bit. I feel bad too because I feel like I contributed to the bit chomping, and so like, um, I need to know if the if the guilt is justified if your bit was actually any good or not. <laughs> okay, so basically, what was going to happen was that the guy in the fictional car was going to be like, I didn't, I I must have deleted it and then he was gonna be like oh, i'm sure i did and then he would slowly have the realization it you know what the bit was about it was about human foibles